We now come to the leader of the SNP, Stephen King. Mr Speaker, let me start by echoing the sentiments of the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition in relation to Holocaust Memorial Day. Truly horrific crimes that we must never forget and endeavour to ensure are never repeated. May I also send my heartfelt thoughts and indeed I hope those of all across the Chamber to the firefighter who is in serious condition in Edinburgh at this moment in time following the blaze in Edinburgh just a few days ago. Mr Speaker, may I ask the Prime Minister, what advice would he have for individuals seeking to protect their personal finances? Should they seek out a future chair of the BBC to help secure an £800,000 loan? Should they set up a trust in Gibraltar and hope that HMRC simply don't notice? Or should they do as others have done and simply apply for non-DOM status? Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, let me share with the honourable gentleman expressing my sympathies to the families and indeed the firefighter who's currently in hospital. I'm sorry to hear that and wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm proud of the record of this government is supporting the most vulnerable in our society. Just this winter, helping all families £900 for their energy bills, raising the national living wage to record levels and ensuring that our pensioners get the support they need. That's what this government is doing to ensure financial security in this country. I'm not sure what question the Prime Minister thought I asked, but that certainly was not it, Mr Speaker. But let's, let's be clear about this. This is now a matter of the Prime Minister's own integrity and accountability. Yeah, yeah, After yeah, all, yeah. when there were questions about the Home Secretary, the Secretary and concerns about her role in relation to national security, he chose to back her. Now the Chair of the Tory party, he's choosing to back him despite Crazy. a five million pound penalty yep. from HMRC. And of course, he's seeking to protect the former Prime Minister despite his cosy financial relationship with the chair of the BBC. Is it little wonder that people in Scotland may well just consider the Tory party to be a parcel of rogues? Mr Speaker, Speaker, what I am standing up for is proper due process. That's why we have an independent adviser. It's right that the independent adviser conducts his investigation. That's how we will ensure accountability, and that's what I will deliver. Rob Roberts.